Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Kenny. Finally, finally, the IPL 2020 season is upon us. It has been a very long wait between the seasons, but I really hope this whole wait is worth it. You all should know by now that this year's IPL will be held in the Emirates. Uh, the three cities that will be uh, holding the matches are Abu Dhabi, Dubai and Sharjah. This is the second time that uh, the IPL is being held in the Emirates. The last time it was done was in the year 2014 during the Indian elections. The first phase of that year's IPL was held in the Emirates. Um, Look, unfortunately, this year's IPL will be held behind closed doors. There won't be any crowd allowed in the stadium due to COVID. But look, it's a bummer. But uh, anyway, you won't be able to travel outside of India uh, at this point of time due to COVID. So I hope that you all can enjoy the game safely at your home with a drink. Um, the nights for the, uh, for the next six weeks is going to be fun-filled. Um, I hope that you all will enjoy the games. I can't wait for the games to start. Look, probably you have a question for me here. Is this IPL important during this global pandemic? Should we play the games um, in the middle of a global pandemic? Look, I'll tell you a short story. In 2008, when Mumbai came under terror attack, it's not just Mumbaikers who felt the uh, attack. It's the whole, it's the whole of India uh, felt that they came under attack right? The whole of India bled. Um, it was such a bad time in India's history. So in two weeks after that, um, following the terror attack, India played a game in Chennai against England in a test match. And behind such an, uh, on the back of Sachin Tendulkar's magnificent century, India managed to win that game by six wickets. So in the post-match presentation, Sachin told the media that he is dedicating that century to the Mumbai people. The whole of India rejoiced on the back of that win. So during this global pandemic, many people have been affected in many different ways. As I have said in other videos before, people have lost their lives, people have lost their livelihoods, their businesses, people have lost jobs. But if there is something that could bring some sort of joy to our people, it's cricket. I was just a cricket mad nation that goes without saying so i hope that this will bring some joy to our people look um the first match of uh, this year's IPL will be played between Chennai and uh, Chennai Super Kings and Mumbai Indians. It's a re it's a rematch of last year's grand final. That's the tradition. Um, always the uh, grand final teams will play the first game. Not Chennai Payasa. So it goes without saying my allegiance is with Chennai. Look, um, before I pick my 11 for the uh, Saturday's game, I have three things to talk about quickly here. Um, Chennai Super Kings, right? Everything that could go wrong for Chennai this season has already gone wrong. It's very unfortunate that um, the management made a decision to have a short camp in Chennai before the squad left to the uh, UAE. That shouldn't have happened at all. That was the reason why 13 CSK players and officials was tested positive for COVID, including our gun bowler Deepak Chahar. So now look, they have uh, recovered well, which is a great news. But then once the season is over, uh, CSK's management um, should be in a position to answer this question, question because their position is untenable at the moment. Who made the decision to have that um, camp in Chennai just before the season started? That was such a bad decision. And then after that, Reina and Harbhajan left the squad uh, during the quarantine time in um, in Dubai. So uh, Reina's uh, departure is a massive loss for the CSK squad. So if you look at the CSK team for the past 10 years, I think Reina has played continuous game for eight years. And uh, our middle order for a long time was completely reliant on uh, the left-handed uh, Suresh Reina. But his departure has created a massive vacuum in our middle order. So it'll be really interesting to know who they're going to fill the vacuum with. And budget we all know he is a match winner on his day so his departure will also create a vacuum in our squad and the uh, other thing um, is the age uh, the average age of uh, the CSK squad so after the two-year suspension when CSK was reintroduced back into the league in 2018 Everyone ridiculed our team as a dad's army, but then the team showed that they are good enough to win a title that season and they could have gone back to back. Uh, last year, they came very close in winning the title against Mumbai. It was unfortunate that we lost that game in the last over. But this year, our squad hasn't changed much. Um, and uh, in fact, our 
2018 squad has aged since then and not just that um there are players in this team who are in the twilight of their career MSD, the backbone of the team, hasn't played any professional cricket for two years now, almost. Faf, he is in the twilight of his career. Shane Watson has retired. So it'll be interesting to see how this time our squad goes. Um, but you never say never when you have MSD in your team, right? So he is our captain cool. So um, you can never write off Chinese Super Kings as long as we have uh, MSD. So let me pick my 11 for the Saturday's game. So uh, looking at the squad, um, my I will go by the batting order when I pick my team. Uh, my first pick would be Shane Watson. Look, he has retired. He's um, but he's been still playing competitive cricket because he's been playing many different T20 leagues around the globe. So he still looks very fit um, in um, in whatever pictures that I've seen of Shane Watson so far. So he will be my opening batsman and. Um, he will be partnered with Murli Vijay. So Murli Vijay is my second pick. Look, it's uh, it's an interesting choice. I know it's very tempting to pick Faf, but then you're only allowed to pick four overseas players. So um, I will be going with Vijay because Vijay, before he rose to fame um, in Test cricket, um, it was 2020 actually that had that base for him to get into the test cricket so he scored two centuries for csk before so i will be picking murli vijay as my second opener and uh, in the absence of suresh reina i will put ravindra jadeja at number three uh it is an interesting choice again but then you have to mix your team up a little bit because you don't have any left-handed batsmen in the middle order so we need jadeja put him up there uh you use him as a pinch hitter which could work um i think and uh, the other middle order batsmen would be uh, Ambati Raidu and Kedar Jadav. It, uh, they pick themselves in the team. Uh, they are um, seasoned IPL players and match winners on their uh, day. And then, of course, our keeper batsman is MST, our captain Cool, and he is our captain. And uh, at number seven, uh, Dwayne Bravo. So Dwayne Bravo is my second overseas pick. And as a... Um, and he picks himself in the team as well. So we all know that how great uh, an all-rounder Dane Bravo is. And then he uh, is the first man to pick 500 T20 wickets. So he achieved that feat very recently. So congratulations to uh, our DJ Bravo. Um, at number eight, um, it will be Deepak Chaha, gun bowler. Um, a very good swing bowler, so I'll pick him at number eight. Uh, at number nine, depends on the pitch condition that we are playing, um, I will either pick uh, Piyush Chavla or Shadul Taku. So depending on the conditions, Lungi Nigiri is my number 10 and our gun force bowler. And then at number 11, it will be Imran Tahir. So I think this squad, look, uh, there is not big fire powers. Look, there are players who can on their day could be destructive um, but then I, uh, I I want MSD to take that role to be that aggressive batsman in the middle order or in the uh, lower middle order to uh, carry the team so there are other players who can come out well on a particular day um, Kedar Jadav, Ambati Raidu, they all have shown us how good players they are but then it will come down to the experience of MS Dhoni and Shane Watson and those kind of players. Look, if you ask me to pick a team for, uh, pick a winner for Saturday's game, my heart says Chennai, but then my mind says Mumbai because Mumbai is a powerhouse. Um, it'll be interesting to find out how Chennai will go on Saturday. But as I said before, when you have MSG in your team, you never say never. Go CSK.